Hi, Phil Fumit here, and today we're going to be talking about how you can use this program called Blender to modify your avatar. As always, please check the links in the video description down below uh, to get the links to all the things that I'm talking about. Also, if you've never used Blender before, I recommend checking out this video right here and that'll help you get started. This video is brought to you by Private Internet Access. For safe, secure web browsing to make it seem like you're from any country in the world, please click on the link in the video's description down below. Using that link really helps support the channel. Today, we're gonna to be covering some very basic things. Uh, over here, you're gonna see a very small arrow and you can click on it and you're gonna see a new tab called Cats. If it doesn't appear here, try restarting Blender and it should appear afterwards. We are gonna start by importing our model. So if you see here in the Cats plugin, there's gonna be Import Model. And this is where you can import uh, your VRM model or your FBX model. Those are gonna be the most common model formats that you're gonna be using in Blender. So I'm gonna click on Import Model and I'm gonna go and find my avatar. Once it is imported, there's a couple of key controls that you're gonna to need to get used to. All of these basically revolve around using the middle click button. So your scroll wheel, if you uh, scroll in and out, it's gonna zoom your camera like this. If you hold the scroll wheel down, you'll be able to um, rotate the camera like this. And then if you hold the shift key and then you rotate the camera, um, you rotate just like you would normally, it's actually gonna move the camera side to side and up and down. So these are the key fundamentals to be able to control what you see in Blender. Now you should be able to get a good view of your avatar. If it looks like this, don't worry. So what you're gonna see here, there's a couple ways to actually view your avatar. And this is the viewport. So right now you can view it as um, it's mesh, it's wireframe mesh. You could view it as a, a flat shade. You can view it uh, textured. And then um, we can view it um, in the, the final render of what it would look like. Since we don't have any lighting set up, we're not gonna be worrying about that today. I prefer working in um, this, this way right here, just so I can see the textures that I have. Right now we have the armature selected. You can see right now the armature is selected with these little um, triangular bones that, that are going all throughout the avatar. And if you click off of it, you'll see that it no longer is highlighted in orange. So, so now if we wanna click on the mesh, we have the mesh selected. So this mesh doesn't necessarily mean everything is all in one. It is very possible that it could be more than one thing once we separate things out. So we can get started by going into the scene collection. And then here you're gonna see your armature and that, that's another way you can select it. And then you're gonna see an, a drop down arrow. So if you click on the drop down arrow, you're gonna be seeing the other things that are there. And then you're gonna see your mesh. So right now we have the mesh selected. So that's another way to, you can select your mesh. And then we can see if the mesh is made up of other parts, uh, it's not separated out right now. So we're gonna be selecting the mesh. And then we can, if you want to make it so that you can see all of the textures, you can click on material properties, this icon right here. We, we want, I wanna be able to see the eyes. And right now the glasses texture is not properly rendering. So that means we need to add the glasses texture. Uh, we're not gonna worry too much about detailed texturing because generally you're gonna be doing that in Unity. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this mesh and we're gonna select what we want to modify. We don't wanna modify everything at once. And this is why the Cats plugin is so important. Um, you might've seen me use these tools when I was talking about how to do avatar clothing and changing it. We Now we have the mesh selected. We're gonna go down to model options and now we have this separate option. We can either separate by material, we can separate by loose parts or we can separate by shapes. I really recommend avoiding separating by loose parts or shapes whenever possible. Always try to separate by materials. So we're gonna separate by materials with the mesh selected. And now we have all of the, the parts separated. One thing I'm gonna add is that this avatar is not meant for VR chat. In general, you don't wanna have this many materials. Uh, you would wanna do something called atlasing and um, merging all of these actually into one and using one unified texture. But we're not gonna be talking about that today. I just thought I would note to stop any potential comments that people are, might already be typing into chat. I want to work on these shorts. Right now I can, I can see that the shorts are highlighted and selected, but if it's distracting you a little bit, um, what you can do is you can just select on the other part and then I can go over here in the scene collection 
and I can just click on the eyeballs to get rid of them. And that just makes it so that there's less clutter to work with. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the armature just because I don't wanna see the armature. What I wanna do here is I have these shorts. So let's say if I wanted to close them, let's look at the tools that we need to work with to do that. So now I, um, I'm gonna go over here and from object mode, I'm gonna, there's a drop down menu. We're gonna start with sculpt mode, but you can also use edit mode. Let's go into sculpt mode and we can see here, we have a new slightly overwhelming uh, set of tools that we can use. So these are many different tools. Like this one's draw. It allows you to uh, like actually draw and you can see it's like slightly warping the object. And one thing that we notice that we have on here is that if you have, you notice right here when I'm just drawing here, it's, it's changing it on both sides, even though I'm only changing it on one. If you have that problem that's happening, you're gonna go to here and you're gonna go to tools and you're gonna go to symmetry. And then right now you see that we have the mirror X axis. So the X axis is basically the horizontal plane. Right now it's, it's on. And in general, like you wanna be able to have that on. So for example, like if I was gonna be wanting to make a change to my tank top right here, in general, if you're drawing, you wanna be able to make it so that it's mirrored on both sides. But let's say if you're working on something like today where things aren't necessarily mirrored, then we, we might not want to have that on. So we're gonna turn the mirror X axis off. And you can also do that with all of the other axes as well. And there's like a whole bunch of different brushes that we can use, but today we are gonna use the grab tool. So here's the grab tool. And then we can change the strength. So I'm gonna change the strength all the way up to one. We have like a little highlight of what we can select. And we can also change the radius right here. So right now the radius is really big, but I don't want the radius that big. I want it to be about there. So now I'm gonna be getting close to my avatar. And as you don't have to worry about selecting the body because right now we're only working on what we selected. So here, so for example, you can see me grab this and I can be moving it around just like that. So I'm gonna be turning the mirror X axis off. And as we can see right now, it's not quite enough to select everything that we need without distorting it too much. So I'm gonna increase the radius a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna be just dragging this in like that. And then slowly dragging it up. Maybe closing this a little bit. And then now I'm gonna change the radius to go down just like this. So we don't want the radius to impact too many different things. And I'm just gonna straighten this down a bit. And all I'm doing is clicking and dragging just to get everything to where I want it. But that side looks pretty good. So now we have an issue. This selection here might not be as easy to pick up and drag as we can see right here it's not doing it well enough we want to avoid that warping of the button there so here we're going to change it to edit mode edit mode is another way that you can be doing this what i would recommend in this case is um change it to the wireframe mode right here and then this way it'll actually allow you to be able to select all of, all of the vertices that you need to select these little uh, joining parts right here so we're going to be selecting right here, just like this. And then if you wanna be able to add more to your selection, then all you have to do is press shift and then click and drag, and then you got those extra parts down. Now let's say if you accidentally selected some things over there, if you press control and then click and drag over the parts that you want to deselect, that will also work. So now that we have all the parts that we want selected, you can just double check to confirm by moving it around. As you can see right here, we actually missed some of the bottom button. So I'm just gonna press shift click and drag and then move that over. And then now we selected some part of um, this clothing right here. So we're gonna press control and we're gonna click and drag that box over just to say that we don't wanna select those things. So we're gonna go back to view it in the textured mode. Now we can see that we have missed some parts. Remember we're holding shift and we're clicking and dragging just like that. And then now we should be able to move everything over. So with everything selected, we're gonna go over here into the move tool. And now we have the option to move things around. So I'm gonna be using, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can use the arrows just as guides like this. It'll make sure that you don't move it on the axis you don't want to. And there's also a free move tool. If you hold in the center, you can be able to move it all, all around um, as, you, as free as you please. So I'm gonna be moving this back a little bit just about there. And I think I want to rotate it. So we're gonna go to the rotate tool. And it's the same thing. It'll have these three different things. So like, let's say if I only wanted to rotate it this way, 
I can do it that way. But if you hold, if you just click in the center part, there's a free rotate option, which I'm also gonna be taking advantage of as well. So we just need to get it approximately to where we want, just like that. So now we have it in the approximate place. So I have the button where it should be. And as we can see, some, some of the vertices are a little bit off. So you can select each individual one, just like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the wireframe mode to view it in the textured mode. And now we can click and drag it over. It's like that. Just we're not, so we're not stretching out the texture too much. So I'll just put it like around there. And then we're gonna do the same for everything over here. Our shorts are now closed and buttoned up. So we're gonna go back from the drop down menu, go to object mode, and then we can see what it looks like. And now we, there we have it. We did our very first mesh edit. Now all you need to do, go to your materials, and then you can go back to your cats plugin and then we can go to join meshes, which means is that these are all of your meshes right here. And you're going to select all join all just like that. And it should join it all back to the way it was before. So now it's all joined up and everything is good to go. If you can go here and call export model. And then here it's going to give you a, a warning of materials. Like I said, if you are going to be exporting this to VR chat, uh, you need to optimize it by reducing the materials video coming in the future. That's a topic that I'll be covering in the future on how to optimize your avatar that way. But since this is something that I'm going to be using for something else, uh, I, I don't, I don't mind having that those extra materials. So we're going to go to click continue export just like that. And then we just need to name our avatar. So, um, here I'm just going to call it both of it shorts closed. And then export FBX. And then there, your model is now ready to bring into Unity. If you want to know how to convert this model that you just made changes to, to a VRM, please click on the video that's going to be popping up uh, somewhere up above. I hope you found that video helpful. And if you have any questions, I do stream on Twitch four times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And why don't you pop by and we can have a conversation. Okay, everyone. Bye bye. Also, also, you can uh, you can check out some other videos that are gonna be popping up somewhere on the screen. Bye.